Okay, we're reviewing, we are reviewing for quiz 1.1, and I wanted to go through the density problems a little bit with you, and make sure that we understand the two kinds of density problems where you always use fractions, and that's called unit cancellation. And so, the first kind of problem, if I give you grams, what do I have to ask you for? And if I give you milliliters, what do I have to ask you for? Grams. If I give you grams and milliliters, what's the problem going to be? Density. Density equals mass over volume. Yep. Okay, so there's only that one kind where you're relieved of the responsibility of writing the fractions. So if you get a fill-in question on your version, that means you've got to show me the fractions and that's going to be whenever you're given grams like this one that you're looking at the screen on right now or when you're given mills and we're going to work both kinds. So let's go ahead and see what is going to be the first thing that we're going to have to write down when we go to solve this problem. And Lou, would you do that for us? Do you think you can do that with are, are you up on this now? I know you did the problems, but... Yeah. Okay, great. Well, how do I start my calculation? We always start in the same way. Over, is it five grams over one? Five grams over one. That is exactly what it is. And hold on just a minute. Okay, so, as you said, we are going to do the given over one, okay? And the given over one is going to look like this. So now, as we are... So you can see we have our five grams over one, and that's how we start. Always it's the given from here, and we put it over one. And now you can see why I do this, because the folks at home who aren't here to see this can actually tell what we did. All right. Now, we want to get that density equality. That density equality is very important because that's how you determine your next fraction. And so, let's uh, let's give someone a shot at that. And Austin, how about it? What do you say? How are we going to do that? How do we use that? What's going to go on the bottom of our next fraction? Yeah, but what's on the bottom? What unit of measure will be on the bottom of the next fraction? Grams, good. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this guy right here and we're going to put him in all together. Okay, we can't just say because grams is on the bottom that the one is going to be on the top and grams will still be on the top. Not so. Okay, you see that has to go as a unit down there. Okay, so our grams are down here as a unit with the number that was with the grams. Okay, and the one mil is the other side, and that goes on the top. And now when we figure this guy out, we go to this configuration, right? I hope you're all writing this down, because this, this will really help you. And we got our five mils, because we are multiplying across the top, and we're getting this number here. Then we multiply the, across the bottom, and we get this number here. And the unit of measure got canceled out, so when we bring, bring it to this fraction, we don't have a unit of measure on the bottom, because that got canceled. And we have our mills on top still, because that did not get canceled. So this mills here never got canceled, and so it winds up over here on the right side. And when we work that out, we get 1.34 mils. And now if we go back to sig figs, does everybody understand that we are rounding to this digit right here? Why? Why are we rounding to that digit? There we go. I'm going to call on someone. Aria. Okay, and where is our smallest number of sig figs? Good. 
You're pointing over here, aren't you? Huh. Yeah, okay. So this guy determines our accuracy. Okay, you can't have more accuracy than one significant figure. So when we're over here making our decision, we see that there's a one and then a decimal. So that's why the little blue dots are here, and that's why we round this and wind up with the one mil as our answer, no matter what our calculator says. Would someone please give me the numbers that you get out of your calculator? And tell me what you have for a number on that. 1.344086 blah blah garbage garbage. Right? <laughs> you get all that stuff. But that is not the sig figs. What you see on your calculator screen is not significant figures. It's just running numbers. It doesn't know about sig figs because it hasn't been programmed that way. It could be programmed that way, but it's not. I don't think I've ever seen a calculator that was programmed that way. If you have a graphing calculator, you could write a program to do your sig figs for you. <laughs> it would be kind of cool. Okay, it would be quite a program too, because it would take a lot of thought. But you could you could do that. So, at any rate, our answer here is one mil, and that is it. There ain't no more. Okay, so let's go to another problem. Here's your given. Seven point four, uh, seven point one five, and I guess I should have put this guy over first, and. Since I asked you for mills, what does the find have to be? Grams. grams. Good. Okay. So the grams is going to go there. And because I'm asking you for grams, which we have over here now, that's our question mark, I also have to give you what? Or you can't solve it. I have to give you the density. Okay. And that's what you see over here. Now as we go down, we're going to you know, bring this back. How do we start our calculation? And that one goes to Edmund. Okay, good. The given over one. And in this case, the given over one is? Okay, cool. And let's just get rid of this for right now. And now, now that we have this guy, Edmund, what are we going to put at the bottom of our next fraction? One mil, huh? Okay. So, let me show you what Edmund just did in his mind, and let's see if I can get this to work out. All right. Yeah. Okay, the one mil is at the bottom. Get rid of you. Go away. And, oh, no. What did I do? Here we are. Okay. So, um, let's get rid of this for right now. And so, watch this. I want to get you back to where this all came from. I thought I extended you enough to not be able to be a problem. There we go. Yeah. You stopped being a problem for me. Good boy. Alright, now, so what we've done here, see this one? It was originally over here in our equality. Whoops. Where is our equality? Hey, where do I have the density equality? I don't. Just recording. So for our density equality, we had the grams and the number together, and we had the mills and its numbers together. So the reason I have you do this is because I want you to see which side of the density equality you're supposed to use. Am I making sense? Okay, well, now watch. When this guy goes down here, both of these have to go. Now, I've already written it, so I'm going to put this back. But they both go together. Okay, That's why the 1 has to be down here and not the 4.22. The 4.22 grams over here has to come with the grams. Okay. So I'm trying to get a picture in your mind here of where that fraction comes from and how it is made. And by doing that, you'll always have your numbers in the right place. And you won't have things upside down 
and get the inverse of the number that you want. <laughs> you want to get the, the correct number. So the equality is always going to determine what the bottom and top will be based on what the original given was. So the original given here was mills, and the mills had to be on the bottom, and because of that, the mills here and here cancel out, and the grams are on the top. And so in my answer over here, we're going to just move that little answer in. Okay, we have 3.65. Or 31.65, sorry. Okay, and how do we determine what the number of sig figs are, Lilith? Okay. okay, and how many sig figs in this guy here? Two. Okay, so we got two sig figs here. How many sig figs do we have in this guy? Okay, so we got three here. And why did you decide on the two? Yes, you always go with the lower number of sig figs because that's what limits your accuracy. And so, we're going to round off, aren't we? And we're going to round after two. And that puts us right here. Now, are we going to make this 31 or 32 based on our sig figs? 32. Yeah, I should have had that covered. That's okay. Anyway, you're getting the idea here. So that's why this thing goes down to 32 instead of 32.65. Blah, 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 as long as the calculator has numbers. Those numbers are meaningless. The only number that matters is the 32. Okay, because that's all the accuracy that you have. All right, let's uh, go ahead and start doing the responders.